All right, guys, check this out. This is ridiculous. Now the CDC is finally admitting that natural immunity is stronger than actually getting the vaccine when it comes to the coronavirus. Uh, now, of course, there's a trick that goes with this, guys. But the fact of the matter is, is that for the better part of a year, maybe even more, those of us who know that we got infected with COVID-19, and I'm just saying those of us that know that, there's a lot of people out there who got it and don't even know that they had it. You know, sometimes it could be asymptomatic. Sometimes you could just think that it's a cold and you don't have it officially diagnosed. However, the fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of people out there who lost their jobs fighting to have natural immunity be recognized, and it wasn't, even by courts. So they would go to court and sue for this, but people actually lost their jobs and their livelihoods over this. Well, now, now all of a sudden, you have the CDC finally saying, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Natural immunity actually is much stronger than the vaccine, but there's a catch to this, guys. So let's talk about why it is that they're finally admitting this now, and are we tired of this bullshit? Guys, this is the gospel according to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he, just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind and guys i have this article here i'm just going to jump right into it this is kdvr.com and the headline goes a little something like this the cdc says natural immunity is stronger than vaccines alone during the delta wave Okay, here we have it. This is the reason why it's now safe to admit that natural immunity not only exists, but it's stronger than being vaccinated because now they're saying that the Delta uh, variant is kind of like on its way out. And now it's all about Omicron. So now that this is the case, now that they can't sell any more vaccines based upon the danger that they say the Delta uh, variant caused, now it's safe for them to say, oh, you know what, natural immunity actually is stronger. And it goes on to say, <clears throat> natural immunity was, natural immunity was six times stronger during the Delta wave than vaccination according to a new report from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Let's read that again. Natural immunity was six times stronger during the Delta wave than vaccination, according to a new report from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Wow! How about that? After all of the fighting, after all of the arguing, after all of the unemployment, after all those nurses, our frontline people who were run off of their jobs because we were on the front line. When I say we, it's because I was also an essential worker. You know, I don't talk about exactly what I do, but my job is considered essential. So those people who were out on the front lines who actually got it first while everybody else was fucking hiding in their homes, you know, sheltering in place, trying to do the right thing, no judgment, okay? But the fact of the matter is, those of us who got it on the front line are the very ones that they ran out of their jobs because they refused to acknowledge natural immunity, okay? They laughed, they scoffed, they said it didn't exist. Get the vaccine, that's all that matters. Now, only now, to turn around, now that they're comfortable, now that the Delta variant is, is over, according to them, and Omicron is the new one, now, all of a sudden, they can admit that natural immunity was not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six times stronger than being vaccinated. Now they can do this. The report, published January 19th, analyzed COVID outcome data from New York and California, which make up about one in six of the nation's total COVID deaths. The study has limits. Here it is. Namely, it was done before Omicron. It's funny how we didn't find out about this until after Omicron. But the study was done before Omicron, the Omicron wave, and doesn't factor in any information about boosters. So, of course, you can't touch the sales of these vaccine boosters with this information. And that's the reason why now they're coming out with it. It does, however, broadly agree with studies from other countries, such as Israel, which is what we've been talking about all along. Okay, so these are the people, guys, that we trust. They withheld the information because it says specifically right here that the studies were done before Omicron. 
But we're finding out about it now after Omicron. Now that we can't affect the uh, the sales and the push to get people vaccinated with these damn boosters. Isn't that convenient? Vaccines were more effective at preventing infection or serious illness than natural immunity from prior infections before the Delta variant became the dominant strain. That's debatable, okay? But okay, that's what they want to go with. Vaccines were still more effective at preventing infection or serious illness than natural immunity. Well, if that's the case, why haven't we seen the media all over every case of natural immunity reinfection that came out through the Delta variant? You didn't see it, and you know that if it was there, you know that the media, you know Fauci, they would be all over it. But what did we hear about? What did we hear about? We heard about um uh what is it called um not natural immunity but um breakthrough cases all right that's what you heard about more than anything breakthrough cases to the point where it's not even breakthrough cases anymore it just is what it is and even they had to admit that now the original doses of the vaccine offer zero protection whatsoever Okay, so as soon as we hit a cold snap, all of these so-called fully vaccinated people that were allowed to go running through New York and all the concerts and everything, all of a sudden, they're all getting sick, all right? But we're just supposed to be grateful that they're not dying. That's all that matters now. It doesn't matter that when they sold it to you, they told you you wouldn't be getting sick. Hopefully, you've all seen the, the clips by now. All of this stuff was caught on camera, on video, your president your, your uh, chief medical officer, all these people, they told you that you can't get sick, you can't pass it to anybody. All of that turned out to be bullshit. You know what I mean? But then they moved the goalpost and they said, well, it lessens your chances of serious illness, being hospitalized or dying. Okay, so that's very convenient. So now you see all of these suckers who are getting sick and suffering saying, well, it could have been a lot worse. I could have been dying, even though a lot of those people only got the initial two doses. So actually, that shit waned months ago. So you can't attribute that to the vaccines. You can't do that now. Okay, you got better because you have something called an immune system. And after you get through having the illness, you do achieve something called natural immunity. Now, where they tripped up at is that if they want to say that Omicron is the dominant variant today, well, you see all of these people who are getting the Omicron variant. Now they're admitting that natural immunity actually exists. So when you have this explosion, this surge, and that includes all of the children that they're trying to say are getting this, well, on the other side of that, after they recover, which the vast majority of them do, you will find that most of them will have hearty, robust, long-lasting natural immunity. Unless they want to start denying that, which I, I have no doubt they're going to do that. Or they're going to conveniently come up with another new variant. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, this could be due in large part to the fact that vaccines began wearing off around the time that Delta spread, according to the study. Okay. Importantly, infection-derived protection was greater after the highly transmissible Delta variant became predominant, reads the report, coinciding with early declining of vaccine-induced immunity in many persons. In California, during the week beginning May 30th, 2021, COVID-19 rates were 19.9 times lower among vaccinated people without a previous case, 7.2 times lower among unvaccinated people with a previous COVID-19 case, and 9.6 times lower among vaccinated people with a previous COVID-19 case than they were among unvaccinated people without any previous infection. Of course, by now, like I said before, these people are full of shit, okay? The important thing thing here is that they're admitting that natural immunity not only exists but their own studies in the CDC proved that it gives you six times more protection than your vaccines. Now, does this mean that you should run out and get a COVID party and, and you know intentionally infect yourself? Of course not. I would never. I would never say that that's what you should do. I would never suggest that. The only thing that I'm talking about, just like anything else, is how this fits into the context of mandates you know, forcing people to do this, even though you know that these people were previously infected, people who you kicked out of their jobs, like I mentioned earlier before, 
All right, so this is what we're dealing with, guys. I find it very, very hard to trust these people. I was just talking to my son's pediatrician a couple of days ago, and she was saying, you know, you should get him vaccinated. Now, my son had COVID at around the same time that I did, you know, and I was asking her specifically about the risk of myocarditis as he is in that risk group being a young black teenage boy. And she said, yes, he is in that risk group, but you don't want him to get myocarditis from COVID as well, or, or you want to risk getting COVID from my, you know, getting myocarditis from COVID. And I asked her a question. I said, so what you're telling me is basically that if I were to say, okay, give my son the vaccine now, the second that you put that needle in his arm, he is at least at risk of developing myocarditis or something else further down the road we still haven't determined because long-term tests were never done. Actually, we are the long-term test. And this doctor said to me, this pediatrician, she said, well, yeah, he would be at risk. So as he sits here healthy without anything, he doesn't have COVID, he is not at risk. The minute you inject him, he is at risk. She said, yeah. I said, well, that's the reason why I pass. You know what I mean? So this is what we're dealing with, people. These people do not give us the information that we need along the way. They only give us what they want us to have in the time that they want us to have it. So I wanted to put that out there, guys, so you can see what's going on. Um, the whole natural immunity argument that some of us have been having with our jobs and with our families. We need to know that the Center for Disease Control not only confirms that it exists, but it's strong, and in some cases, most cases, almost all cases, stronger than getting that vaccine. And then we need to think about the implications of what this is, you know, that they would hold this from us until after, after it would be relevant to the particular variant that we're talking about, which would be the Delta variant. Do you trust these people going forward would be the question to give you timely information, the way that we need it in order to affect our lives. So anyway, guys, there it is. I just wanted to put it out there for you. You guys can get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. I know I'm talking to a lot of people who will not be surprised by this at all. This is what we've been saying now for over a year. But anyway, share your thoughts and um, share the video, share the information, even though I know people don't want to hear it. People are hard headed. They're going to get exactly what they deserve ultimately, which breaks my heart to say because there's a lot of people out there that I care very much about who fall into that category. But anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe. Uh, get in the comment section. Let me know what's up. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you for listening. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.